Hey guys, what's up? Right, today I have another unboxing for you guys to make. So I'm gonna be talking about uh, this home DSL router. Now, the problem is that uh, there are so many different brands out there. There's TP-Link, there's uh, Huawei, there, there are Cisco routers and so on. So uh, this video is gonna be specifically on a router which is from TP-Link. Uh, previously, my router was a W9970. So without any delay, let's Let's get into it and let's check out the product. So I've taken the router out of the box and we have uh, the charger. So you get three antennas. Okay guys, this is uh, the router. So these are the specs of the router. It's It says TP-Link and it gives you all the details. And uh, just let you know guys, uh, this is a version two router. So if you look at the serial number, it should tell you version two. Now this router does come in three versions, version one, version two, and version three. Three is very hard to find at the moment in the market, but it's more expensive. So this is the version two. So on the back, I'm just gonna show you. So I have these uh, outputs for the antenna, then you have the power jack, and you have uh, four LAN inputs or outputs you have your reset button over here your telephone jack goes here and that's for the antenna on the left side if you look there are these USB ports where you can connect your external media to the router and you can basically share any files or folders from it then you have uh, over here you have the power button and then you have the Wi-Fi on off so if you just want to uh, switch on or off your Wi-Fi so you can just do it from here and on this side it's empty and so that's the base pretty much ventilated tops ventilated as well uh, so i'm going to just uh, plug the antennas on it and we will basically compare what sort of internet speed i was getting previously and after i installed this router we'll do a comparison to see the speed so that's done router which I currently have is uh, the TDW9970 that's a 300 megabits wireless and USB router so I'm gonna run a speed test to show you guys uh, what sort of speed am I getting on Wi-Fi so at the moment my uh, MacBook is very near to the router but it is connected onto the Wi-Fi so we have the speed test from our uh, MacBook and uh, it's 29 megabits download and 7.29 megabits per second upload speed so now we are going to install the new router we are going to go through the settings and then we'll do the same test as we did with the tdw9 and 70 which is just right now installed so first i will suggest that if you need to access the router from your wi-fi so you need the username and password in my case i'm going to do all the settings through the wi-fi and my router is the tp link 68 ab and 5g so i'm going to connect it from here so once when your router is connected uh, then it all you have to do is on a Mac you have to press option and click the Wi-Fi mark and then it will give you the router IP address in my case it is the 192.168.1.1 so I'll just type in 192.168.1.1 and enter and here it'll ask me for a new password which i need to set so if if you are setting up this vr 900 router this is the ac 1900 uh, i would recommend that you can go through the quick setup instead of going to the manual setup so yes uh, so that's it it's connected and this is the basic way to connect your TP-Link router, which is, in my case, is the VR900. And a lot of TP-Link routers, they do the same interface. And it's so simple that it's all connected. And here it gives you how many wireless clients are connected, how many wired clients are connected, and so on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run the speed test. And as you can see that there is a significant improvement in the speed the upload speed is also there is an improvement so that shows that on the wi-fi which is uh the five gigahertz is is much better than the 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 two gigahertz 2.4 gigahertz 
So guys, I hope you liked this video and you enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, do subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that like button. And if you have any questions regarding this AC1900 router, leave it in the comment section below and I will reply back to you. Bye for now, guys.